So we're here with Larissa Jimenez. She is the president of the Puerto Rico Hotel and Tourism Association. We basically want to get an update of what's happening with the industry, the sector. How are the hotels doing? Because um, word is that some of them are closed um, for repairs. Others yes. are being uh, said that are, that are closed permanently. So we need to clear up what's going on with the hotels. Well, at least from our members, we know that they are all in a recuperation process right now. Even though uh, some of, the, uh, uh, of them, as you mentioned, are closed, we have still 50 to 60 percent of the hotels that are operating right now. Uh, the truth is that mainly with uh, FEMA and military uh, guests, uh, but the hotels are going through the process of finishing their assessment. As you know, sometimes when you look at the property, you see just cosmetical damages, but when you start looking into uh, the detail, you'll find you'll have a little more uh, damage. So right now they're in the process of assessing what's really uh, the damage, what the, what the damage was, and working very hard at getting things back to normal as soon as possible. Are they working with you, with the tourism company, with FEMA? What's going on with that? With everybody. As a matter of fact, PRHTA did a, a meeting last week. Um, we had personnel from FEMA and from SBA. Um, and we, we're, we're trying to help them, help them in any way we can. Uh, we, they presented some of the opportunities they have for, uh, for the different companies, not only the hotels. We even had restaurants participated, F&B companies. Uh, so there are opportunities and we want to make sure that our members understand what's available to them. Uh, we did that in San Juan last week and next week on, on um, Wednesday we're going to Ponce and Mayagüez with okay. the same group. Do you think that the tourism season that's supposed to begin in December will be affected? It, um, it will be a challenge. I cannot say differently. I mean, we have been through this before. We had other situations in years ago. And it's going to be a while. Uh, the important thing right now is to communicate what's going on, keep them updated on every progress that we make. And every day we have a small victory. Uh, we get desperate, but the reality is that we have seen improvement day by day. Um, and keep that line open to make sure they understand where we are at right now. Then on the other hand, there are other opportunities. You have a lot of volunteer tourism, people that want to come and help. That's something that we need to look into. Uh, we also have events that are happening in Puerto Rico, and those events are going to happen no matter what. Well, then let's go after that market. If it's uh, a sports event, then you know they have people that travel and and want to be part of that event. Then we need to get in touch with them. If we have culinary events, if we, you know, whatever we are having uh, for this season, we need to make sure that we target those markets and promote it and have a really good comprehensive PR plan because that will be part of, of the process. I mean, we're in recuperation mode. What happened, happened. The, the hurricane is gone. And now we need to continue working hard to make sure that Puerto Rico uh, is strong and, and we continue communicating that we are open for business, even though right now, uh, we rather uh, finish this recuperating process and, and provide uh, accommodations for the groups that need to be here to help Puerto Rico. What is the tourism company doing um, to help? Well, they are they're in constant communication with us, right? Even during the hurricane, we were in touch with them. Uh, they're doing different assessments throughout the island on not only on the hotels but also on attractions. Uh, they're working on a PR plan for the next 90 days. So I just came out of a meeting uh, related to that. Um, so it's you know it's it's really important that private sector as well as public sectors work closer than ever. Uh, that's how we were able to overcome uh, previous situations, uh, and it's the only way we're going to be able to move ahead. Okay. Um, as far as you know, which hotels are closed? Well, right now, the Caribe Hilton and the Condado Plaza, but they're in the recuperating process. I was just talking to uh, the GM of the Caribe Hilton, and he mentioned that they're really working very hard to make sure that at least they can open part of the hotel soon. 
Uh, the Ritz Carlton is also undergoing uh, work. They're, they're working with the properties, taking care of what was damaged. Um, there are many others that are open. Conquistador. Uh, Conquistador, it's, it's closed, but it's, it's open. It's, I mean, they're having some rooms for FEMA and some of the other groups. Uh, the situation with them, they're just waiting for the water to come back. Okay. Um, and the, the West and the, the Wyndham? The Wyndham, the Wyndham, it's uh, working. They, they have some rooms also for these groups. Uh, Gran Melia, they had to close because they have to work with the property. They have, uh, they had some damage and. Uh, but they, there's, they seem to be closed for good. That's no, I, I don't think so. No, I don't okay. think so. Uh, I think that information is wrong. Okay. I think they're in the process of working to make sure that they fix whatever was broken, and hopefully they'll be back. Okay, Royal Isabella also said. Uh, I haven't heard from them. They, they announced that the they truth. would be closing. Yeah, I heard. I heard that they're closed right now. Uh, but hopefully, you know, it maybe it will take them a little longer than some of the other properties. But we're hoping and praying that they all come back. Okay, um, just one final message, maybe to the people off island who are listening to you right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, will the tourism season happen? Um, will Puerto Rico be able to handle, you know, visitors after maybe December? What What I would like to tell them is to keep their ears and eyes open. Uh, we're going to be keeping them informed on how the progress goes. Uh, right now, it's important to provide accommodation for the groups that are here to help Puerto Rico. Um, you know, in certain areas, we were very lucky. Like San Juan, you know, you look around and, and it's okay. Uh, but other areas were badly damaged so it's important that we provide accommodations to all these groups that are coming to the island for the next uh, month or maybe two months and and then for December we're hoping to be open for business as usual and start receiving visitors thank you thank you so much thank you